be so okay. let me see you so grab the so IV catheter. Yeah, it's ex excellent. Mm -hmm. This finger, like when you get good, will be used to right. <laughs> pop that catheter in that vein when you get flash. Mm -hmm. But initially, we don't want to do that because that takes some training. Okay. 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 So pull your patient up to you or get comfortable or move your arm forward. And then find your vein. You're going to anchor up against your patient with it. There you go. Okay. It should be like that. And you can move either like this if you want or that. Okay. But you've got to become part of that patient because this guy's kind of moving like this. So your arm, you're going to mount that arm like this. And then you're kind of moving with them. So don't try to hit the vein yet. Just kind of go right here. I want to see you go in and out just of the skin. Don't hit the vein. Yeah. And just kind of pierce. Uh, pierce the first hit. The first hit. Okay, yeah. And just kind of go in all the way. Just practice going in all the way. Yeah. And then, okay, no, back it off. Excellent. And then, pull that back. Good, you saw that. Can you um, put a little more spring in these two fingers so you're like more like, yes. Okay. Yeah, so you're moving with those. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. There you go. Bam. That's it. And so you're just like doing that, and that's super dexterous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool to do that. It's cool to do that. Oh, yeah, it's good to do that when you get back. Okay. So you're kind of like... There you go. Bam. Yeah, so that's perfect. I'm using these muscles, which are the most dexterous muscles you can use in your body. Yeah. And then on the pull... Um, the reason is they started an angle. So as you'll see somebody trying to do this, okay? And and um, what happens is that, um, and I've seen it, that's why, that's why I try to teach people about it. Um, I always say start at an angle, use that point for what it is, get in the vein. Because sometimes if you try to do this, you literally can shear the skin. So what happens is you're going along like this, trying to get in the vein, and you literally are doing like this. And you'll, I've seen it happen, and I'm like, oh. So it's really important to use that point for what it's worth. And get in, bam, get in the vein, then drop, and then do your sliding. Okay. Um, and and uh, the, the first time that happens will be the last for you guys. I'm telling you, you won't do it again. <laughs> it's, it's not pretty. All right. It'll be the button. Okay, keep your fingers off the button. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. So I get irritated when the button pops. <laughs> All right. Um, fingers on each side. That's what the grooves are for. Okay. You want to line up your patient. Don't line up yourself. Okay. Make your patient kind of fit to where you're gonna need to be more comfortable. Use your three fingers on the outside to rest on your patient. Like this. With your two fingers up on the catheter. It's not a dart. Go over the top. See how she has to Yeah. There you go. Now rest it there. You, go. you want to feel for your vein, first of all, okay, then clean. Okay. You never want to touch it after you clean. You're going to be introducing all kinds of good stuff. This one's going to be smaller. Go for the big one first so you feel better about it. Go at an angle. Okay, you want to start at a, at a bigger angle. Use that point for what it is. Okay, actually get in the patient. Okay, once you get a flag going in, there you go. Now drop. Drop down to almost flat. Go in just a hair. Okay, you feel that little like release. Now slide off the catheter. Don't go in with your needle. Leave your needle where it is. Okay, for you, same thing. You want to go up at a little bit more of an angle. Go ahead and slide it on in all the way to the hub. Use, use your other hand to stabilize your patient. Go in at a little higher of an angle. There you go. Okay, now take it out. Great job. You keep on going. Right, say I got flash right here. I drop it, and I'm, anch I'm anchoring the needle up against the patient's skin, and I'm grabbing with these two fingers and then threading it like that. Or I can actually, if I'm really good, I'm using my pointer finger and just go whoop. Try that. That's why you don't to the flash chamber. How's your advancing? So.
There it is? Okay, good. Okay, great. At this point, you can just rest and watch the blood flow back. Lower it to the patient's skin with this finger, advance the catheter. Wait. These two, you're going to pinch like that and just go whoop. Okay, this is, can yeah. you like des describe right. that again? This is where I always struggle. I am holding this uh -huh. steady because the, the metal is guiding that catheter into the vein. Uh -huh. These two fingers yeah. are coming up like this and it's pushing that the in. The yellow yeah. part? Yeah. Okay. Push the yellow part without pushing the needle in, without drawing back. Oh, without? Okay. Yeah. Boom. And now you draw the needle back. Okay. So if you can imagine, um, uh, you just pull it out. You can pull it out. Okay. Yeah. If you can imagine that this thing is the guide for that okay, this plastic sheath. Mm -hmm. So if I'm, so you have to, you have to be a little. So I'm gonna hit this real quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay. so I want to hold this against the patient's skin to guide it in, and I'm gonna use this finger, or you can use this finger to go. Whoop, okay. Like that, mm -hmm. without moving this back or mm -hmm. forward, because that's we still need that metal in there to guide the blood. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, sh I struggle with, like holding it. A lot of people it. like move, stick and then move this back as they're uh -huh. advancing, and you lose it that way. Okay. You need this metal in there to guide the blast again. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of a you use a little steeper angle to hit it. It's, yeah, that's a perfect angle right there. When it comes out of the catheter, this little sheath comes out of the catheter. It's aggressive. It's a confident forward motion. This is when you still don't want to put in the patient where it can last and drop it to one end. Drop. Yes. And then you can. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Bam. That's it. Yeah. That's exactly it. And then you withdraw your needle. And then you're good. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. It's a little different. That's it. Out. This is okay, on the pullback, I want you to okay, pull it back just, just, just enough, but okay. don't come out of the patient's this skin. Has a filter that makes okay, it not good. Come good back. Because uh -huh. okay. this so is going to get almost all the way. Keep that's coming out a little bit, the, don't but don't come out. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, now so, you're going to redirect. But, uh, Suppose you're, yeah, there you go. And now advance again. Okay, good. Okay, that's it. And then you would come back straight out and then redirect again and then in. Yeah, very nicely. That's how you do it. Okay. Your movements to the left and right are going to be almost one millimeter. They're going to be so subtle. Okay. Because you've gotten really close when you eyeball the vein and you know where you're going. It's just these tiny little adjustments make the biggest difference when you're outside. Yeah. There you go. Let's hit that vein. It's not a matter of shoving it. No, that's okay. It's okay. So just keep trying that. You can use this hand and kind of peel that vein. Right, right. And then we'll move over to the other one and then we'll go to a smaller And then use as much sense as you can. So you're feeling that with that finger and then kind of insert the... While you're feeling it, kind of let that finger guide the tip of that needle where to go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Stick it like you would a butterfly. You want blood. I want blood. Go. You feel that? Be confident and hit that vein. Yeah. Get in there. Okay. Oh, but I mean, they'll always be like a second. When you were sticking not for the vein, you were going like this. So I want you to do so more of a yeah, But you can see this is coming out slowly. Yes. Okay, so that. So I'm in. Okay, okay. yes. Stab. But these filters, okay, it's a little back. more difficult um, yeah. to, to reuse them. But if not, we're going to see them. You may want a steeper angle because it is a big vein. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Even if you see it coming out slowly. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you got it. Okay, okay. drop okay. to the so skin. So now let's try a small one since you've got two. Oh. And then, then that one's oh. good. Yeah, okay. You can go ahead and thread the needle in, thread the catheter in. Okay. What you did there, right, was you anchored here really well. Okay, you still got to get the blood. You still got to get to there. That perfect. Okay. You kind of like went, whoa, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so we can kind of 